Freddie Wanick has left his television gig in the mayor's office to reincarnate in a new role where he plays another fun and fascinating character, an Anglo in a culture clash feature comedy set in a remote Quebec village. The film is called French Immersion. Ah, the good old hockey game. It is my pleasure to welcome Port Moody Rays, multi-talented, not bilingual yet, uh, Fred Iwanek, great actor, to Studio 4 to tell us more. Yeah, hi, thanks. Hi. <laughs> and it is true, eh? I don't know about talented. I, I think it's... Uh, I know, I, I exaggerate. You totally exaggerate. <laughs> totally. I've seen my work. I know there's sort no talent talented. involved at all. Yeah. What happens when you see your work, uh, be it in Corner Gas or uh, the Mayor's Show or in your very first incarnation? Weren't you a spinning gnome or something? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, my first gig was uh, the Adams Family that shot here, the oh. new Adams Family, I think it was called. Mm -hmm. and I was a spinning gnome. It was hilarious. Yeah, luckily, you couldn't recognize me. <laughs> luckily. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I don't. Th I just. I. I just pretend I get paid to goof around like I did when I was mm -hmm. a kid. So I don't know how much talent's involved. Apparently, you did goof around a bit. I was reading your bio. Yeah. Started out first job paperboy. Yeah, you could call it that. It was more of a somebody would give me a bunch of papers and I would dump them in the dumpster and then go to the arcade. <laughs> <laughs> and they gave me money for that. Great. <laughs> yeah, and it was a great gig. Wouldn't you think somebody would call and uh, well, complain somebody that did. the paper well, wasn't was arriving? Yeah, it was a free it was the free local paper, so I oh, don't think I anybody see. cared about it. But mm. apparently there was a lot of people that did, so And you didn't yeah. have aspirations to go on to the Vancouver Sun of the province, obviously. No, no. You weren't no. trying out for Paper Route 2. No, I had no ambition. No ambition mm -hmm. to be a pa in the newspaper business. And then the bingo hall thing. Yeah, yeah. oh my God, yeah. Well, it's Port Moody. There wasn't much to do. It's like you could work at <laughs> the bingo hall or you could dump the papers at the dumpster. Mm -hmm. Which one? And bowling when I got alley. fired from the... Uh, no, I never worked at a bowling alley. Oh. No, I just went there a lot. Yeah. Uh, five pin? Five pin. Uh, Ten pin? It was a five pin. Yeah, it was a five pin. Mm -hmm. So bingo hall... I'm a little fella. There's no way I could uh, lift a ten pin ball. Yes, you can. No, I was, I was horrible. I can lift it. I took bowling in university. You could take I'm bowling in kidding. university? Yes. Oh, I should have done that. You could. One credit. <laughs> Just one credit? Can you get a degree one in it? One gym credit. Uh, no. Oh. That's a problem. That would have been awesome. <laughs> I know. I have a doctorate in uh, bowling. Yes, I do. <laughs> in 10 pin. Uh, not 5 pin. I went to the university in the States. Only in America can you take bowling at That's university. Awesome. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Do they show you how to drink beer and, and everything? Oh, and, sure. Oh, great. Of course they do. Mm -hmm. So your love of comedy, where did yeah. it begin? Um, when? Well, oh, well, when I was a kid, I loved, like I, uh, it might have been Mork and Mindy. I can't pin it down, but Robin Williams was, I loved Robin Williams. I thought he was hilarious. Um, and, uh, and then, but I never really, like, it was, I wasn't going to go into comedy or this racket. Like, it, it was never sort of the plan. Like, I actually thought I was going to be a truck driver. Actually, at one point, and I'm not trying to be funny, I remember my mom asking me, and I, I was wee. I was I was pretty young at the time, so give me some uh, leeway. But I, I thought that it was feasible for me to be a police dog. I thought I would grow up to be a police dog one day, and uh, and it wasn't until later on when I, I understood <laughs> biology more, I realized that that wasn't possible. Mm -hmm. yeah, can but, you bark? No, well, not, no, I'm not going to do it now. I but, can bark. Uh, I can bite. <laughs> I could be a dog. <laughs> Let, mm -hmm. well, let's not go there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, I, I thought my my grandpa had a trucking company, and my mom worked there, and my uncle worked there. So I thought I'd be a truck mm. driver, but I wanted to be a truck driver. I thought it was going to be cool. Long haul? Uh, no, actually, just up to Merritt and back. My, mm -hmm. my, uh, my grandpa had a, it was called uh, Vancouver Merritt Freight Lines, and they would go back and forth to uh, Merritt, and uh, yeah, it was cool. I used to go with my uncle. Uh, we'd drive up there, and my mom worked in the office doing the books. It was awesome. How great. It was great until, until uh, my cousin drove the... Uh, forklift off the bay and we weren't allowed to play in the yard anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. Yeah. One of my cousins got into Plymouth and uh, hit a grain elevator. <laughs> what? Yeah, Did that's it's... not good. No. No. You grew up uh, on the prairies? I grew up in Montana. Oh, Montana. So sort of prairies. Okay. Yeah, and you spent prairies. some time in the prairies doing that, uh, what was that show oh, called? Yeah, some show like uh, Corner, Corner something. Corner something. Something. Yeah. Yeah. something with gas in it. Gas in it. Not sure. Yeah, lots of wheat fields. and. 
canola. <laughs> ra home, what is it? Uh, rapeseed. Yeah, rapeseed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the home of rape. I think is the name of one of the signs that <laughs> no. where, where Brent Butt grew up. Yeah, Tisdale was. Uh, yeah, welcome to uh, oh, the home yes. of rape, I think. I oh, might get yeah. that wrong, but something like that. No, it's yeah. something like that. But, you know, prairie people uh, will take you out any day uh, to see the colors, to see the yellow, to see the blue, yeah. to go through the dust. Well, you know, it, it was a real shock, actually, because it was the first time I've been to the prairies when, it, when we did Corner Gas. And there were times when I'd be sitting out waiting to do a scene or something, and where we shot in Rolo, they had a huge canola field, and they, they had mm -hmm. the flax seed as well. And the, it blooms blue, yeah, and when the so wind beautiful. when the wind hits those fields, it's the same effect as sitting on the beach watching the ocean. Like it, it, it so it was kind of it was mm -hmm. pretty comforting sitting out there some days. I'm sure, especially somebody who sees the world through a Port Moody lens, which yeah. is also beautiful. Port, yeah, when you when you Little get past wetter. the sulfur the sulfur uh, <laughs> mill on the side of the <laughs> the inlet, it's uh, mm -hmm. and and when they finally cleaned it up so you could swim, it was no. But Port Moody is actually quite beautiful. It's a nice nice mm -hmm. spot. It was a good place to grow up in hindsight. When you auditioned for Cornered Gas, did you get the part right away? Was it a bit of a test? Uh, it was, the, the casting director at the time, uh, Lynn Carroll, gave me a heads up and put me on tape for it. And then I found out after uh, that Brent, he, Brent told me, he's like, yeah, we didn't, we didn't really think you, you know, we weren't really interested. And, and Lynn kept sort of kind of pressuring them. And then it became kind of, they had a chip on their shoulders, like, all right, we'll see the kid again, sort of like, you know, we'll watch him burn, and I went in one more time for Brent, and uh, David Story was the one of the producer's head director at the time, and I guess I knocked it out of the park, and I got it. So I only had to audition, audition twice, once on tape and once in front of Brent. Uh, when you were no longer Hank Yarbo. Yeah. Uh, sad day, did you actually. miss it? Do you miss oh, yeah. him? I Do you miss the yeah, show, absolutely. the fun, the yeah. tapings? Yeah, I miss, I, miss, I miss everything about that show. I miss, I love that character, because... Uh, uh, I, did, I, I it was a, one of the few characters where I felt personally smarter than my characters, so that was nice. Well, and perhaps uh, you are. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and then uh, I just built up such a, a great group of friends in mm -hmm. Regina, and uh, the crew, and um, you know everyone I got to work with, the cast, and yeah, it was a, it was a great job. Like uh, that show coming to an end was uh, one of the toughest. I know it sounds weird talking no, about I it, know, but it was one yeah. of the toughest. It was it was weird because it was six years, and that's a good run. Uh, but at the same time, it was such a shock because you, you really started to believe, well, yeah, this is going to go for it. This is it. This mm -hmm. is my life, and it's awesome. And then mm -hmm. it comes to an end. You're like, oh, God. Well, I'm unemployed, for one thing. What am I going to do? That. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I miss, it. I miss it all the time, I, I think about it. Well, you could audition for one of the soaps, like The Young and the Restless. It has longevity. I don't think I'm soap material. I don't <laughs> think I'm... I don't have the looks. Oh, you have the looks. Uh, I don't know if you have uh, the interest because, well, that's another... Story. I don't know what uh, they get paid, but if they're getting paid millions, I'll do it. Well, I think they are. Uh, what are do they? you think? I don't know. I don't know. What, I all I know is suggest the that Victor. I don't know anything. You don't about watch the, the Young and the Restless, no. obviously, but I suggest he makes a good dime. He used to be on Rap Patrol. I don't know what that is. I used you to watch Dallas born. with my mom. You did? Dallas and Falcon Crest and Knott's mm -hmm. Landing was our sort of bonding time. We'd have really? tea and cookies and watch the, uh, the evening soaps. <laughs> <laughs> Every Friday night. Every Friday night. Oh, that mm. JR. Oh, yeah, that JR. And uh, did you uh, get the acting bug then, do you think, when you watched somebody? Did you have an idea that you wanted to head for fame and glory or movie stardom? No, I mean, no? well, it, I, I have now. Uh, um, I got into acting because. I had to go to college and I had to take something, mm. and uh, and I don't know why I chose acting. Probably because I goofed around a lot and I thought, all right, I can do this, right? right? And, and home economics wasn't your thing. No, I wasn't definitely <laughs> not. Although I like to cook. But, um, do you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I love. Oh, cooking. great. Yeah, but it was. I saw when I I saw uh, King of Comedy uh, and Robert De Niro. I loved because before King of Comedy, uh, I'd seen like Goodfellas and mm. The Untouchables and all this stuff. So I. If I could choose a career, I would have chose his. And when I saw King of Comedy and I saw him be that sort of pathetic, crazy character, and I've only known him as being gangsters all the time, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to... Uh, yeah. uh, versatility yeah. in your gig yeah. is, a, is a good thing. But do you have a desire to do a heavy drama? Uh, down to L.A. audition for a serial killer or something? Uh, 
I did. Pl I played a stalker, uh, uh, like a crazy stalker guy, uh, one in a MOW that uh, nobody saw. <laughs> like, that's probably <laughs> an indication. Maybe I should stick to the comedy. That's but <laughs> movie of the week, MOW, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, sort of television movie, and uh, but it was fun. Yeah. No, I. I, I have a desire to play whatever characters are interesting. I'm not mm. really picky when it comes that way. Comedy's been my bread and butter. And Any been, politics in your background? Would you run for mayor for real? My dad ran ever? for alderman three times and never got in. Really? <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Do we know why? He would have been a good, no, I don't know. I don't, because he's probably, he's too, uh, he's, He's he's got too much common you know sense. He's not <laughs> oh, he's not a politician, which I, I think is exactly what we need in politics. He tells the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but yeah, the truth. Yeah, you know he you can't mean? hide it. Yeah, off goes, the cuff. Yeah, and and uh, you know he grew up in East Van, so he doesn't put up with anything. And you know, oh, that's yeah, great. So, yeah. yeah, it's always good. It's refreshing. Yeah. Uh, so you're a bit of a mongrel. What? Uh, Italian, Scottish, little Ukrainian. How does it work? Yeah, I'm. A, 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 I guess I'm technically three quarters Italian, quarter Scottish. Uh, with a uh, Ukrainian last name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so pass the pierogies and haggis. Yes. Well, okay. I'll pass on the haggis, I'm sorry. I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, you will. <laughs> well, we'll pipe some in and see just how you do. <laughs> now, um, the new one, French Immersion, the yeah. new film. Yeah, it's great. Tell me what it's about. I've seen it, but tell uh, them what it's okay. about. Okay, well, it, uh, French Immersion's about, uh, there's these five uh, Anglos that go to this small town uh, in Quebec uh, to uh, learn French and for various reasons and I play this guy Colin McGonagall who who's from uh, Red Deer Alberta and he's gone because he needs a promotion and of course in Canada if you work in any government job you have to be able to mm -hmm. speak uh, French to get to certain levels and so that's why he's going and I, I get the girl. Of course you do. Yeah. Always. Uh, when we come back, we'll talk about uh, things that happen in French immersion. We won't give it away. Okay. But uh, you're not allowed, when you go to immersion, into immersion, as you know, no English. No English. Spoken. Yeah. And en Francais. En Francais. Oui, oui, oui. We'll come back. That was good French, wasn't it? <laughs> it was awesome. All the way home. <laughs> that is nice. Uh,